Hello, in this video we're going to look at the last step of the validation process and that is checking out the file type. Now this is, I'm going to do a little bit more of a discussion on this just to illustrate some of the potential things that you might deal with. So, so far we have looked at the size of the file, we've tried to look for errors in the transmission, and now we're going to look at the file type. Now if you've followed the previous videos you see I've got this thing up here called type. And so for this image, which had a JPEG file extension, it's it said that. So one way that you can validate a file is to use that field. I'm telling you that's not a good idea, but let me show you what the code would look like just so it'll help us to illustrate one of the potential problems with the process. So here's a block of code which I've inserted. Um, don't get too excited about writing this down because I wouldn't write it if I were you. But basically what I did is I created a variable and I'm storing that, that type field. Remember I showed you that a minute ago from that files, super global. Uh, and then here I'm just kind of checking those things, right? You notice that one was image JPEG, I think is what it was. And so you're just looking at the various file types saying that, hey, this is what I'm looking for. And if it's not one of those, I, I, I give them an error message. Otherwise I say it looks like a good file. Now this isn't a great way to do things. I'm going to show you why. This is also just going to provide you a little bit of insight into the world of potential problems you might have to deal with. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to refresh this page and it's not going to be real interesting. File type, image, looks like a good file. And it was a good file, but let me show you something. So here's that folder where those where those files have been coming from. Right, These are legitimate files, I'm telling you they are. But what I could do is something like this. I'm just going to paste something in there that's not a JPEG. And uh, if I want to quite simply just change the file extension of that PHP file to JPEG, I get a little warning error because that's probably not right. But just to show you how crude this check is, watch, I'm going to upload that file, that thing, right? Submit it, and notice that it passes, right? So that tells you just how thorough this check is. That's why I'm saying don't get too excited about this. This literally is just looking at the file extension and determining whether it thinks it's a good file or not. I'm telling you I don't think that's a good way to do this, so I'm going to show you uh, an improved version of the same kind of idea. So this code here is going to do a better job of inspecting the image. So I'm calling this function called xif underscore image type. And this is a PHP function, which is Boolean. So it returns true or false based on whether PHP thinks that thing is a uh, as an image or not. So this only works for images. And it all depends. You have to ask yourself what kind of files you're asking your users to upload. If there's no restriction on file types, well, then you don't need something like this. And if it was supposed to be music, then you'd need to check it out differently. But uh, this function here actually looks at the header of the file and tries to determine whether it's an image or not. And so basically I'm saying uh, if this if this thing, that temp file name, if that looks like an image, then we say it's an image. Otherwise we flip the flag to false and we say it's not an image. So remember how I tried to fool it with that weird file? So I already, I've already done this in the background. I can't really rewind time, but I did save this, and if you pull up this same thing, and I refresh, which I don't really need to refresh, you notice that now it's catching that that thing's not an image. So using just that little piece of information right there was a bad idea, because it was easy to fake it out. But uh, the function that I just showed you does a more thorough job of validating the file. Now it's just I hope that helps you to understand the threats that you do face from users. You can't just look at a file and assume that uh, you know you're getting the correct information from the user. You have to be really wary of some of the things that they might try to upload to your site. So that's a better function. Um, like I said, if you're looking for a different kind of file type, then you're going to want to handle that differently. But if you're looking for an image, this is a, this is a pretty good uh, function for that. So at this point, we have finished all of our validation. And now it's just, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to actually store that image permanently. I think it's going to be a pretty long video, but it's all one big process, so that's just kind of the way it's going to line up. So at this point, we've validated things. We've looked at the type of the file, we've looked at the size of the file, and we've looked for just general errors in transmission. And if we've passed all those checks, then I think we're ready to store this file. So be sure to watch the next one in the series.